Magandang magandang hapon po mga katribu and Happy New Year! Siyempre pag New Year, New You. Ano kaya? Meron bang Superwoman or Wonder Woman or Superman sa loob ng ating puso at kakayanan? Ayon kay Jimmy Lee Calco, ating special guest, ang sagot ay, let's hear it from him. Please welcome my good friend, Jimmy Lee Calco. Yeah. Thank Hi, you, Coach. Thank you, Corey, for inviting me again. Jim. Yes, uh, we all have disability. No exception. Even people with mental retarded. Puede. So, you know, so it's, it's, it's everybody has it. So, ang sinasabi niyo, Jimmy, ay lahat ng mga tao merong extrasensory perception. Mm -mm. You, you know why? Ba, pag meron kang ESP, nagiging uh, para kang ano, um, nagiging uh, superhero ka or you have superhero abilities? Well, uh, let me explain this. ESP or extrasensory perception, by the way, that's a misnomer, no? Yes. I don't like the term, but yun ang kinagawian eh. So we use that word, no? Eh, the reason why everybody has it is because what we call ESP or psychic ability is part of our mental faculty. Now, in fact, the word psych psychic comes from the Greek word psyche, which means mind or soul. Mm -hmm. So whoever has a mind is psychic. Whoever has a soul is psychic. <laughs> whether he knows it or not, or whether he admits it or not, he is because it is in the, it's in part of our faculty. So the I'm mind. This, you, Jim, from the day you were born, yes. everyone, lahat ng mga tao sa buong mundo, meron silang ESP. Lahat yes. tayo may ESP. Lahat. Oh, okay. everybody. It's a part of your faculty. So if okay. you cannot get away uh, from it. All right. So let's go through our... Um, can we go through the definition, official definition muna of ESP, no? Uh, oh. Can we show that? Um, pakita muna natin. Yeah, well, the so, ESP is... is I think that we have, uh, we prepared a something. Uh, okay, okay. Hold on. Let me let's just see what they have on the screen. Uh, can you see that, Jim? Yes. What is extrasensory perception? Yeah, but I cannot read it. It's too small. Oh, masyado maliit. Uh, pwedeng ipasok na lang yeah, sa but it, it's, main frame. It's just the, the ability to see things that cannot be seen or to transmit thoughts you know, or knowing the future, uh, knowing the past. Uh, that's what ESP is. No? It's extrasensory Perception. We have five senses, no? The bayon, sight, sound, smell, touch, and taste, no? And when you say extrasensory perception, there is another sense, which is the inner sense that is activated. But we all have it. So when we talk of uh, extrasensory perception, it doesn't mean we have a sixth sense. We don't have a sixth sense because lima lang talaga ang sense natin eh. But when we when we talk of extrasensory perception, we're talking of the spiritual eye or the spiritual sense. The inner sense senses that is exteriorized, no? So that becomes what we call extrasensory perception. Medyo, medyo malalim ang explanation. Pwede <laughs> ipasok yung definition muna dito sa main para mabasa ng mabuti. Shadow I, I, cannot, I don't know whether our audience can, can read it. No, our audience cannot. Extrasensory perception that. is also called uh, sixth sense. Ayun. Including claimed... <laughs> this must have been written by a, this must have been uh, written by a, by a skeptic. It includes claimed perception, ah. or if it is not claimed, it's scientifically validated already. This, these people who write these things are not up to date. The sense I, uh, is, I uh, people to read more, not the standard with the mind. definition. The term was adopted by Duke University psychologist J.B. Ryan. Okay, that's correct. He was the one who. Uh, coined the word to denote psychic abilities such as intuition, telepathy, psychometry, clairvoyance, and their trans-temporal operations as precognition. 
or retrocognition. So that's what it says there. No, which is well, that's correct. I have no problem with that. Okay, so let's wait for the definition to be placed in the main screen para sa kaalaman naman ng ating mga katribo. Na, yan, we're going to see. Oh, pero yung definition lang, mahirap itindihin eh. <laughs> it's difficult to understand what, 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 what they're saying. Well, we can simply say that if you know something before it happens, that's part of ESP. If you know something that happened before, but you were not there, that's also a threat of cognition. Now, one of the things that I really want to emphasize here no, is that the word ESP should not be connected all the time with, psych, with um, fortune telling. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. No? In the Philippines, when you say a person psychic, you expect him to tell the future. I don't tell future. I cannot tell. I cannot predict, although I have done predictions. I cannot do it per, I mean, intentionally. No, I have done no, several, maybe six or seven accurate predictions but it is something that came spontaneously no it is not something that i do and if you ask me what's going to be your future i cannot tell you i will be wrong because i'm using my rational mind so these things so we talk of esp is non-rational eh? even you don't you don't use your reason because when you use your reason you're using your left side of the brain which is the analytical rational and uh, critical brain whereas uh, esp must come from the right brain which is your intuitive, emotional, and uh, non-verbal no? reasoning. That's the right brain. So what happens there during uh, an ESP perception is that you, you, you're you actually on the right brain mode without your knowing it. No? The right brain mode is our emotional, intuitive, self, the creative side of our brain. The left side is our analytical brain. And uh, this was uh, discovered by Dr. Uh, I forgot his name now. I know him very Gar. Um, later on, I will tell you the name of this guy who won the Nobel Prize for his discovery that we have to put two brains. The left brain is not doing the same function as the right brain. He was the one who discovered this, you know, and he was he, he won the Nobel Ryan? Prize. Huh? Not J.B. Ryan. No, J.B. Ryan is Duke University. J.B. Ryan was the one who developed uh, extensively 30 years of studies of ESP at Duke University. Uh, hindi siya yun. No. Sino this one is a doctor, is a, is a neuro, neuroscientist and biologist. Yes, okay. But it was J.B. Ryan who first discovered that there is such a thing as ESP. Well, he did not discover it. He proved it. No? It's okay. already there. That's even and, but he wanted to find a toto by to. That's his contribution. He proved it scientifically. Okay. Paano niya uh, ipinak uh, paano niya paano niya naku, nakakuha paano siya nakakuha ng preba na talagang okay. merong ESP? Oh. My god, you know he, this guy is so meticulous. He studied it for 30 years, no. For example, he will ask somebody to be in another room. Then he will be in in, in another room holding a deck of cards. No? And he will look at one deck and ask the other person who's in the other room, what am I looking at? And oh. he will he will add the number of times correct, the number of times wrong. So statistically, you can prove is it by chance or above chance. And he found out that there are people who can guess, I mean, you know, who can tell what he is looking at more than chance level. Hindi po by chance statistically. So he proved that there are people who are able to do this. That's proven. I mean, anybody who says it, it's not true. Uh, that's not what he's talking about. I mean, they, they should go to grade one or do, go to some research. It's now established, no? Telepathy, clairvoyance, psychometry, these are established facts. It's no longer it's no longer in doubt. Only those that are so ignorant, no? Are saying it is not true. But uh, I'm, I'm already tired of answering this thing because it's there. Oh, but Jim, di ba sinabi mo na dahil lahat ng mga tao may ESP, Bakit may mga iba na talagang develop siya at sa mga ibang tao, hindi naman nakikita yung, yung preba na meron silang ESP. How is that possible? Okay. Corey, it's a very simple answer. No? Everybody can draw. Okay? I can draw a cat. <laughs> I can draw a ball. <laughs> I can, you can do it. But I cannot draw like a morsolo. 
or like Picasso or Van Gogh or Matisse or Rembrandt. I, I cannot draw. In other words, we have different skills. Some, some have it more than others. Mm. Anybody can sing, but I can sing off key. I cannot sing like, well, you know, Jumitis Maturan or Frank Sinatra. I cannot do that, but I can sing. But no, so in other words, there are some people who are, all of us have ASP, but some have more of it or more practice than others. That's why it manifests more. Sister, these are the introspective people. These are people who meditate. These are people who do spiritual, spiritual exercises. They develop their inner senses, so they are more psychic. But everybody has it. Not like everybody can sing, everybody can draw, but not everybody can draw as much as the masters. That's all there is to it. No. So to me, there is no question. In times of need, when you're when you need this particular ability, it comes out. No? It just comes out to help you. So that's how how all these things happen. But some have developed it, like the yogis, for example, in uh, in India. They, they study for years how to develop these inner senses. The monks in Tibet, they have exercises mm -hmm. that develop their inner senses, you see. So mm -hmm. there, are, there are ways of developing this if you want to. Okay, Tokol, ulitin natin ha. Okay, mga katribo. Kasi sa dami ang kaalaman ni Jimmy Likao, kailangan hihimayin natin yung utak niya eh. <laughs> That's why I have to thank you, Jimmy, for really uh, entertaining us again and allowing us <laughs> to pick your brain but uh, we can sh we can share all the knowledge naman with all of our country. Okay, fine. Okay. Ngayon, pag may ESP ang lahat ng tao, like you said, some have better talent than others. Mm. Okay? Pero yung raw ability ng ESP and doon, di ba? Yes. Okay, raw. So, how do you develop ESP? There are many, many ways. The most, uh, the easiest is by meditation or going within. Because these are powers that are part of our inner faculties. Remember, I used the word inner faculty. Yeah. Uh, we have external faculties our senses of touch, smell, you know, touch and taste, no? hearing, these are external uh, senses. No? But when we talk of, when we use the internal uh, sense, that's what ESP is all about. You know, see? Well, everybody has it. So, no exception. In times of stress, in times of need, it comes out. How to develop it? There are exercises in my, in a class of example, I give them exercises how to open up the third eye, supposedly, you know? but I don't like the word open up, but that's how people call it to develop our ESP. Uh, there are exercises that you can do you know, uh, every day to strengthen or to empower you to do this. You know? In fact, my students are almost better than me you know? because I don't, I don't try to develop oh, my ESP. Oh, yeah, possible. Nah. We have a no, set of no. questions, Jim, okay? Uh, asked by our readers, because we told them in advance that you'll be a special guest. Okay, let's start okay. with the... Let's start with the questions. See again. Sabi nyo na eto na. Can you read that? Oh, shadow malo imaliit. Yes. You can? Yes, no, it's, I, I can read it. It's, it's okay. It's, it's clear enough. Okay. What is the third eye? Why is it called the third eye? <laughs> you know, that's a misnomer again, eh? See? Oh, ayun, bakit? Actually, there's no such thing as a third eye. We only have two eyes. <laughs> but when we talk of the third eye, as I said earlier, we are talking of the inner senses, no? Uh, it is, in a, the third eye is really clairvoyance. That's really what the third eye is. Clairvoyance, meaning, now what is clairvoyance? Clairvoyance is the ability to see things that cannot be seen normally. That's clairvoyance. For example, if you can see ghosts, you can see spirits, you can see what's going to happen in the future. Now, that's a form of clairvoyance. No? And uh, that's the most common type of ESP, telepathy and clairvoyance. No? The others are, are not so common, but there are many classes. 
the, in my book, your understanding is like the powers of man. I enumerated 35, three, five uh, types of ESP. And many of them are not considered ESP. Only clairvoyance, telepathy, and uh, precognition are recognized. And studied. Kasi, alam mo, nung sila Duke, uh, sila J.B. Ryan, Duke University, studied only three ESP abilities. Uh, telepathy, clairvoyance, and telekinesis. Tatlo lang ang pinag-aralan niya. No? And then, uh, the, uh, the others, yung sa Princeton University followed suit with the study of telekinesis also. No? So, Princeton University. So, they, they're limiting them study. Sa kanila, yun lang ang ESP. Yan, tatlong yun eh. Pero they do not realize that there are many activities that should be considered ESP. For example, walking on fire. Walking on fire. It's an ESP ability, <laughs> but it's not regarded as such. No, exorcism, no, is a psychic, psychic surgery. It's a form of ESP. No, and uh, what uh, holding an object and telling the characteristic of the owner of the object without knowing him is a psychometry. Is ESP. There are so many uh, different manifestations of ESP. Pero only three are recognized as ESP, you know, clairvoyance, telepathy, psychonesis, which is uh, very limited. That's why we, we don't realize it that we are actually uh, doing it without realizing this ESP. Kasi yun lang recognized eh, on nila, J.B. Okay. Ryan. And all, right. But let's, now, let's, all right, let's flash the, to the next question. No? Okay. Yung ESP lahat meron. Pangalawa, uh, kahit may mga ibang tao mas may talento sa pag-ESP, their talents or abilities, uh, better to call it abilities, di ba? Rather than talent, no, Jimmy? Ability yeah. yun, no? Abilidad yun, no? Yes. Oh, well, you can call it also talent. So yung abilities ng tao, hindi, hindi naman talent yun, no? For ESP. Some are more obvious than others, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and more, uh, or stronger. Right? Yes. But they can be developed. Para sa mga yes. taong na hindi pa nagmamanifest. Or Definitely, it pa. can be developed. I have proven this so many times. Okay. My students. Alam, yes. Sa mga estudyante nyo, uh, ilang session bago makikita nyo na na pwede nyo nang ilabas o may, makikita nyo na na lumalabas na ang kanilang ability? Well, in, in my class, in two days' time, you can develop at least five or six different ESP powers in two days' time. In the U.S. and other countries, it takes you one month, two months, or several months to, to do in, this. Ilan so, ba yung in my class, on, only two days, you can okay. develop. Total abilities are there, Jimmy. Sabi mo, five or six. So, sa total list of abilities, ilan yun? Yung five or six? The six over 35. <laughs> if you would like 35. To. 35 ways. There are 35 different psychic skills. 35. I think I'm the, only, I'm the only one who is saying that. No, no parapsychologist will say that. <laughs> I'm the only one. Yes. Okay. Sige, they, they have um, a different definition. Okay. Magbabalik po kami sa aming ESP and third eye. Huwag po kayong aalis mga katribo. Botomoto Halalan 2022, the Daily Tribune special coverage. Si Harry Roque, ang pinakamagaling spokesman, kaya inggit sa kanya ang oposisyon. Tama lang na ipinaglaban ko ang balik trabaho para bumalik ang kita ng mga nagtatrabaho at naghahanap buhay. Hindi pwedeng magutom ang pamilya. Dapat lang po ingat buhay para sa hanap buhay. Basta trabaho, kita at hanap buhay ang nakataya. Nasa harap niyo po ako. Ibigay natin ang tudong suporta kay Harry. Ayon sa World Bank, tinatayang 4.8 hanggang 12.7 milyong toniladang plastik ang sumisira sa ating karagatan taon-taon. Halos 80% nito ang nanggagaling sa Asia. Sa buong mundo, ang Pilipinas ay itinuturing na pangatlong pinakamalaking nagdudulot ng polusyon sa karagatan. Ang nakalalasong kemikal mula sa plastik ay di lamang kumukontamina sa karagatan 
ngunit pati na rin sa hanging nilalanghap at lupang ginagalawan natin kung magpapatuloy ang kasalukuyang paggamit ng single-use plastics sa taong 2050, mas marami na ang plastic kumpara sa mga isda na nasa ating mga karagatan. Dahil dito, mas pinaiigting ng pamahalaan ang kampanya laban sa paggamit ng single-use plastics. Nanganganib ang ating planeta. Iisa lang ito. Lahat tayo ay dapat kumilos sa lalong madaling panahon upang pangalagaan ito. Tama na ang plastikan. Be updated sa news and happenings katribu. Hatid ng Daily Tribune sa inyo ang mga balitang napapanahon sa loob at labas ng bansa. Kami na ang bahala sa paghahatid sa inyo ng mga latest and reliable news. We got you covered sa programang Tribune News on Q. Mapapanood mula umaga hanggang gabi, lunes hanggang biyernes sa Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now on YouTube. Halalan 2022, The Daily Tribune Special Coverage. Welcome back mga katribo at itong first episode ng New Year 2022. At ngayon aalamin po natin at alam na po natin dahil sa Jimmy Ligao ko na lahat tayo ay merong extrasensory perception that means we have special abilities. That's the good news. Blessed na blessed po tayong lahat. Jim, back to you. Okay. Yes, I'm, I'm around. Our questions. Ito na. Can you open and close the third eye at will? Well, since it is something, it is a part of your uh, mental faculty. It's always there, but um, to many, it is what, what they say. They consider closed. No, <laughs> pero hindi closed yon. No? It's just not developed. No, but it is there. So there are exercises one can do. Uh, to do this, and on and one, are, there are spiritual exercises. There is meditation, and there are even some physical exercises meant to stimulate the the sixth sense. Uh, these are done for people by the yogis of India and the Tibetan monks you know, are, are doing these exercises. So they have a lot of people there who are developed in psychism because they're they're. They're using it and they're 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 uh, exercising it every day, but we we don't use it, so it's not it's, it's not developed. See, that that's that, that's that's uh, that's the very simple explanation for it. I see, pero let's see, Jimmy. Ah, uh, pag bukas ang third eye mo, let's say pumasok ka sa isang haunted house. Hmm. Di ba ikita kita Example lang. Yan. Example lang. Kasi ibig sabihin makakakita ka ng multo. Yes, makikita mo. Ayaw mo makakita ng multo. No. Ano mo? Sisira 'yon. You know, there is that's a good question. Do you there, there is something that people should understand. If you are clairvoyant, you can see a ghost even with your eyes closed. Can I repeat that? No. 
You can see a ghost even with your eyes closed. Why? Because it is not your physical eye that is seeing it. It is your third eye or spiritual eye. It has happened to me several times, no? One in Canada and the other in the in, in Quezon City. The the ghost was uh, at my back and he was walking uh, barefooted, no? Uh, but I was facing the wall because we were having an exercise there, no? Japanese something chanting. We were asked to sit uh, uh, on facing the wall. Then I saw at my back two feet black tao, pero wala yun lang feet up to the ankle, no? walking towards me, hi, and stop. So I could see, but it was at my back. But nakita ko yun, and then it was confirmed by the leader of the group. And after the chanting, he said, "Is there anybody who?" would experience any something. So I raised my hand. So I said, do you have any anybody here that can be seen? Said, yes. Um, why? I saw him. Said, yes, I saw him. He went, went to you. Why did he come to me? I said, because you're the, you're the new. That's the first time I attended that, that, that session, that group. It's a it's a Japanese I don't know, a chanting group in the Philippines, and uh, I he he just went there to greet you, so afterwards oh. he left. No, so he saw that those two feet, but I saw it with that. That's fun. The second the second case more interesting. No, I was in Canada. No, mm -hmm. in in a group. It is a community of about 50 people doing a lot of exercises, doing some spiritual exercises, lectures, and all that. No. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's called the Ideal Farm, you know, in I think in Victoria, in, in Canada. And uh, I was asked to each one will be housed in in a certain place, no? I mean, there is a quarto, each one of them, and they they do work like carpentry, uh, whatever, no, or uh, household chores, or cleaning the house, and then there are lectures, no, of uh, uh, Ivan Hoff. Ivanov, that, that's their guru. No? Ivanov is a, is a, a Ivanov is a Bulgarian mystic, no, and uh, Meron lecture every day. Anyway, this I was first time I was the second day I was there uh, in that place in the early morning. I was sleeping. I go to five o'clock in the morning. I was yet, uh, I was sleeping on the bed. My my I was facing the wall. I was facing the wall. Not was the with the Then I saw with my eyes closed a person enter the room. No? and all that. And then he came to my to my bed. I stand there, stand stood there and was was looking at who I am, no parang looking nandito. So I thought it was my friend who was fetching me for the five o'clock uh, ritual of greeting the sun. They have a we have a they have a ritual. We greet the sun like the ancient Egyptians, no? So it's a very interesting. Group. Yana, merong prayer or yeah. greeting of morning sun. So I asked uh, I asked this guy, did, did you come and see me in my room uh, this morning? So when you know, I did not because I know that you feel very cold and you don't want. To. I went, I went with them first time long that. And then uh, because it's too cold for me. No, in Canada, it was very cold. So because somebody came, yes? Uh, how does he look like? I didn't see his face, but he was taller than you. And he was wearing a yellow, uh, brown leather jacket. Very expensive jacket, you know. Then one of the, the women who was holding a child, Catherine either, or Christine, was shocked. He said, that's my husband, Yves Laforest, who is the first Canadian to climb Mount Everest. That was his room. That was the room. So when I came in, they transferred. This man died. This man that died in a boat accident, your husband. Did he say anything else? No, that's all he said. Uh, that's all he did. He still was looking at me, find out who I was, because I was new in there. And he was sure, she was sure, it was her, because he was wearing his favorite uh, jacket, a leather brown jacket, 
that she recognized when I described the jacket, that's the jacket of my husband, sabi niya. No? So, you know, that spread all over the community afterward that Abe Lafores showed himself to me. No? And my, my eyes were closed. No? So when people see a ghost and then they cover their, their heads with a blanket, the more they will see the ghost. <laughs> They don't know that. No. People, <laughs> it's, it's, but that this is true. No? <laughs> Toto <laughs> yan, Toto yan. Yan. Under the covers, diba? No, then they, may kita mo pa rin. Ay, naku, I tell you, believe me. <laughs> Pero ang, ang tanong ko, Jim, para sa mga taong ayaw makakita ng mga spirits kahit meron silang ESP abilities, paano nila Uh, maiiwasan yung sitwasyon na yon. Ayaw nila talagang makakita. You know, by, by keeping yourself busy physically, then uh, you, could, you you disconnect from the wave wavelength of the spirit. Uh, I have taught this to some, especially children, no, who, who can see ghosts and all that. I said, if they see something or a spirit of the dead and you don't want to see it, I said, you, ju- you jump up and down. Or you clap your hand no, ah. uh, to the point of, 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 of hurting you, yourself. Or you shout. By shouting or jumping or doing something physical, you increase the vibrations or frequency of your brain, your, 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 your neurons, no, to the beta level. Because you can see a ghost only at the, at the alpha, theta, or delta level. But you cannot see a ghost on the, on the, on the, on the beta level. So... I see. When you do that, you know, which you, for example, when they said that during, uh, of course, during the Halloween and all that, and you shout and all that to drive away the spirit, or during uh, oh, uh, New Year you, to drive, it, that, that's not the that's not the reason. The reason is to drive away. It is to to put your brain waves to the beta level, so you disconnect you know, from the spirit world. Disconnect. That's the real reason for that, but people don't know that. <laughs> Ayan, ang ganda pala ng explanation na ito ngayon. Alam it's very na. scientific, no? Kore, it's very scientific. Hmm. O, ito naman. Why are some people more psychic than others? I... There are two reasons. No? Some are, are born in a family, for example, that are open to this. And uh, therefore, they have it in their genes. No? Na parang inherited and all that. Others are uh, in, in inherited yan because uh, all, all of us have it, no? Others, uh, without knowing it, develop their psychic powers because they're introspective. They're always thinking, no, yeah, inwardly. Or some are very religious and always uh, being spiritual. It develops the inner senses, and that's why many people in Tibet, the monks especially, are all psychic. All of them, <laughs> every single one of them, Be- because they have every day they're practicing these things. See, karon lang yon. That's what. That's why some people have it uh, naturally. Are you saying yung pag-meditate ng mga Tibetan monks, makakatulong yan? Oh, hindi lang nakakatulong. That is, is a sine qua non. I mean, a sine qua non. Required, no? Something necessary I for you to that. develop. May commercial break, break ulit po mga katribo. Wag pa okay. Kayo. Botomoto Halalan 2022, the Daily Tribune special coverage. Fun and inspiring na kwentuhan? Sagot na yan ang programang Spotlight ng Daily Tribune. Makipagkwentuhan at kilalani ng iba't ibang personalidad na kilala sa kanilang larangan. Manood at makinig sa mga inspiring stories na kanilang ibabahagi kasama si Nina Ventura at Jojo Silvestre. Be ready na mamangha at matuwa every Thursday alas dos ng hapon dito lang sa Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now on YouTube. Magandang araw mga katribo! Narito na ang mga makakasama nyo tuwing umaga sa programang Gising Na. Roy Pelovelo, Kofi Manalo, at Tony Lia. Badilio Crisostomo, Vernon Velasco, Kim Sancha at Jerk Balagtas. Abangan ang programang Gising Na mula alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga sa Facebook page ng Daily Tribune. Ilabas na ang mainit na kape at samahan kami sa inyong pag-almusal, mga katribo. Sama-sama natin alamin ang mga natatagong istorya sa mga latest na kaganapan sa loob at labas ng bansa. 
Simulan natin ang bawat umaga with good vibes sa mga informative and recreational segments ng aming programa. Maaaring nyo rin ibahagi sa amin ng inyong opinion via Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now sa YouTube. Makichika na rin sa latest showbiz happenings mga katribo. Kaya naman, magkita-kita po tayo mula lunes hanggang biyernes, alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga at magsama-sama po tayo sa... Gising na! Alamin ang latest entertainment at sa mga paborito niyong celebrities kasama si Pocholo Concepcion sa programang WhatsApp. Makibanding at kwentuhan kasama ang mga kilalang personalidad sa entertainment industry. Sama-sama natin silang kilalanin at silipin ang makulay nilang mundo every Tuesday at 2pm. Kaya sit back and relax lang kayo mga katribu. Hanapin at ilike ang Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now on YouTube. Dahil sagot na namin ang masayang kwentuhan, dito lang sa WhatsApp. Botomoto Halalan 2022, The Daily Tribune Special Coverage. Ayan po ang ating uh, special episode ngayon kay Jimmy Licalco. Great start for the year to know that we all have psychic abilities and how to use them properly in order to better our lives. Siyempre, kailangan merong improvement po sa buhay po natin. And by knowing meron po tayong mga abilidad, how can we use that to get better and to have a better life? Ayan, Jimmy, ang isang katanungan na hindi, hindi na lista dyan ay paano natin magagamit ang ating ESP para sa kabutihan ng ating buhay at kabutihan ng buhay ng mga iba. How can it improve our lives and other people's lives if we use ESP properly? Well, there are many uses or applications of ESP. For example, there's a danger that's going to happen and you're able to anticipate it. You save your life no? from accident. That's one, uh, one thing. No? And um, uh, following your intuition, no? Uh, can save lives. Uh, there is an example of this. Uh, there is a couple, an American couple, uh, in the in the U.S. Uh, they were sleeping. It was very uh, quiet, no. Then all of a sudden, there was a thunderstorm. I mean, there was thunder and so much. The panahon, bigla bigla. There is a baby in the other room. The baby nila in a in, sleeping in a crib. Bigla, tumakbo yung the wife and got the child uh, to to them got the child from the crib to bring to them and then the husband asked why what what happened with like, nothing i just felt like getting the child immediately after that there was a thunderstorm and a lightning that cut the chandelier that is on top of the crib oh. of the of the child this is a true documented story so she was able to save the child because she acted on her instinct or intuition. Mm -hmm. you see? This is a documented case. Another case, there was a man who was going to the office and always the time, every time he would go to the office, he would be in a hurry, you know, going to the office. This particular morning, he, he, he thought of checking the back of the, of the car, you no? Know? And he saw your neighbor nila na three years old sleeping right under the right under the wheel, oh, yun sa, under the tires at the back was sleeping. Had he backed out, patay yung bata, no? But oh, how oh. how come he went there and then got the child, no? Before before getting out the car, see. So th these are ways which your ESP helps you, no? You see, and then you you that's another case. Oh, I have many cases, Corey, to, 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 to prove this. Okay. Sige, ang dami. Kaya kailangan with Jimmy, maraming series dito. Eh. Nagiging popular na itong series natin. Ito na. Jim, uh, are you saying then, before we go to that question, are you saying then that ESP equals intuition? As to me, that's the same. The, the same. Is the same. Kanya lang, some people don't like to use the word psychic or psychic ability. They prefer to use intuition. But it's the same faculty. 
in intuition and psychic the same okay bakit ang sabi pala ng sinasabi may kasabihan or special expression universally done women's intuition hindi man's intuition mm. there is a biological basis for that Corey, you know um in the uh, our in uh, the middle of our brain there is a certain gland they call it the pineal or pineal gland mm-hmm. which is associated with esp or clairvoyance okay according to research the the pineal gland of women is slightly larger than the pineal glands of men that's why women are more intuitive than men also in in the middle of the brain there is the corpus callosum which connects the right and left side of the brain again in the case of women is slightly bigger than that of men and mature faster than the corpus callosum of men that's why uh, women you will notice mature faster it's because of the corpus callosum you see they're able to integrate nothing uh, better than men at an earlier age no at an earlier age okay. so this is the scientific findings then this is not my opinion na huh? okay. scientific this is, a, this is science okay jim so ibig sabihin women can multitask better than men yeah there there are tasks that are better for women to do like no make meticulous thing or little things uh, men have no patience for that no okay uh, colors no no that sige balik na tayo sa this question sino yung mga internationally recognized psychics Marami yan, no? but I, I'm fortunate, I'm very fortunate to meet some of the greatest uh, 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 the psychics in the world. No? Locally, for example, that's Alex Orbito, a faith healer who, who does psychic surgery. Do you know that only the Philippines, only Filipinos can do barehanded psychic surgery? Mm-hmm. There is nobody else in the entire world that can do this. And that is why it's always uh, ano ba, people object to it. Say it's impossible because how can you open the body with your finger? That's, that's nonsense. But they're actually doing it. And there have been scientific studies conducted, and I have the, the reports no, that this is real. But nobody believes it no, because it is logically, they cannot, they cannot accept it. But sayang, eh, because, you know, sayang talaga, we, we did not really encourage this. And many of our big... Be- good good uh, psychics psychic healers are dead you, you, you know, i would say mga mga a a1 <laughs> oh, uh, my. Uh, wala na tato ni agpawa alex orbito wala na sir benjo balacano virgilio gutierrez juan blanche i met all of them i have seen i have seen all of them labo still alive I was still in, 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 but he's about 85 years old, 86. No? Si Jun Labo is the only one holding the fort now. No, not, not, not the only one. There's, uh, there are others. In, in, uh, no, there's also Lawrence Cacteng in Baguio no? doing this, doing psychic surgery. But yeah. very few na lang. Unlike noon, uh, in the ni- 1980s, I, I watch about 35 of, of them, about 35 different psychic surgeons. Now they're only, well, Okay, so Jim... Six. Yung mga yung mga Batikan na Batikan na psychic surgeons sa Pilipinas yung ability to do psychic surgery ah, is that part of uh, the ability of, is it one of the abilities of ESP Well it is it is a mental ability it's yes. a psychic ability yes you, you cannot you cannot do it without being psychic this, these people are all mediums. No? They're channels of the spirit, and they're guided by the spirit. They call upon the spirit. They get into a trance, and they do the the psychic surgery. It cannot Oo be done ma. without trance. Sa totoo lang mga katribo, pinakita ni Jimmy sa akin eh. Ako rin mismo ang nagwitness. Di ba, Jim? You brought me to several psychic surgeons. Oh, yes. So to watch. Operate. You have to see it. You have to see it to believe it. Even if you see it, you won't believe it. Grabe, tapos si Alex Orbito, kapag mag-shake hands yan sa iyo, wow, ang init ng kamay. Yes. Yeah, that's a sign of a healer. Very warm ang kamay. All of them. I like that. You never warned me about that, but when Alex Orbito shook my hands, sabi ko, wow, ang init ng kamay. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. Grabe, no? 
I wish that the mga psychic surgeons could live longer. Would what? Live uh, yeah, longer. live longer. Yeah, only our, the, the one living about 85 or 86 years old is, is uh, John Labo in Baguio. Mahina na, I went there about two years ago before the pandemic. I visited him and there were several, 15 Bulgarians, mostly women, who were patients of his there in Baguio. He's still doing it. Ay, let's visit Lauren. June. Gusto kong huh? visit Ryan si June. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Well, you, let's bring Daily Tribune with us. Sige, pwede. Diba? And let them observe kung papayag ang Tribune. <laughs> it's very controversial, you know. That's why I'm very careful about it also. Because it's That's true, difficult but... to convince people about this phenomena. I've been criticized. So people have laughed at me. But it's okay. I have the proof. They don't have. <laughs> it's have happening in real time. So let's see what, let's see kung aaprobahan nila yun. So Jim, let's go to the next question. Who is this lady? Uh... I'm not sure. I think this is. Uh, you sent photos. Um, I know. I was a uh, coral. Uh, coral porch. Coral porch is a medium who can draw the faces of your spirit guides. In fact, she drew the faces of my seven spirit guides. I I also gave you that 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 picture of my seven spirit guides that was drawn by coral porch, uh, using only my handwritten letter to her. See, at that time. Coral Paul, she was uh, the wife of a British medium who's a friend of mine. She's Tom Johansson. And he was telling me about it. And she, you, you can still see her in, on television, on, on YouTube, where she would be drawing the uh, spirit guides. And I had seven spirit guides that she drew and gave me the description of each of my spirit guides. And then she's not the only one who said I had seven. Another one, two psychics from the Inner Peace Movement, Americans. Um, Nancy Siebert and Bettina Lohman said I had seven guides. Then there also a, a local psychic, a Filipino, said I had seven spirit guides. That was from different countries, one from the Philippines, other from, from the, the US, another from uh, uh, Britain, said the same thing, that I have seven spirit And Coral Polch drew the faces. And in fact, I, show, I sent it to you. No, I don't know whether... Your know, people got it. I know it's too late to show. We can do another episode on spirit guides, the man. Um, where's the other photograph uh, to prove the pre the presence of psychic abil abilities? You sent another photo of. Oh, I sent several, uh, about four or five of them. The mga photos ni. And then so Yuri Geller and then Luis Gasparetto. And this yeah. is James Hurta. James Hurtag is not exactly a psychic, but he is very psychic. But he is more of an author and a channel. He was the one who wrote the book of Enoch, Secret Knowledge. Uh, so James Hurtag. I think you met him, no? no? He's an amazing person. He's in touch with the ultra-terrestrials, not extraterrestrials. This is Luis Gasparetto, a Brazilian spiritual healer, I mean, I spiritual painter. And you saw him. You were with me in Buenos Aires. Oh, if not for me, you will not meet him. <laughs> and uh, you saw how he's fantastic. Masters. Using his bare hands, huh? remember? Correct. Yeah. He was not using a brush. These are my spirit guides. No? See? Drawn by Coral Polge. There are seven of them. Different nationalities. My Chinese, Filipino, German, American. No. Galing. Or this one. Uh, this is Rathun Gomery, who's an author of... Uh, uh, here and the hereafter. Ruth Montgomery wrote, uh, she was the one who popularized the walk-in, that there are people who are walk-in whose, whose souls were you know, substituted with higher souls. You know? They're about to die and all that, and that's, uh, they become walk-in, they live again, and they, they, they do something terrific for mankind. So she wrote that book, you know, Montgomery, Montgomery, yeah. Ruth Montgomery. This is, I think, Tony at Power. Yeah. Batam Bata. Yes. Cannot recognize him because Batam Bata siya dito. He died at the age of 42. He was one of the greatest uh, faith healers or psychic surgeons I have ever seen. I have seen him do things that other healers cannot do. Tony at Power. He was the greatest of all. Ang bata naman yung namatay? 
Well, ano ay is uh, cardiovascular what you call it as uh, CVA cardio uh, is a heart stroke. He had a stroke. Kasi ano siya eh is very batakaw siya saka he drinks and so smokes. So, hindi yun. Hello. Hello. Ito yung crush yeah. ko. Oh yeah, everybody's crush. <laughs> <laughs> Uri Geller is still very active now, no? and I, I'm sometimes in touch with him. In fact, James Hurtak wrote to me about a year ago, about almost two years ago, asking me to go with them, Uri Geller and James Hurtak, to visit some psychics in Europe and also in, in the Western world, and scientists to confer with them, together with Uri Geller. Imagine James Hurtak inviting me, the three of them, with Uri wow. Geller and me. <laughs> I said yes <laughs> right away. No? Imagine being with Uri Geller, it's an amazing thing. No? I was with him in Dusseldorf in Germany in 1994-95 during a conference and he demonstrated something more remarkable than bending spoons. You know what he did? He germinated radish seeds from his hand, his palm. Uh, he, he opened a radish seed and then poured it, about 10 of them seeds on his hand and he did not move his hand. And then he asked everybody, say, grow, grow mentally. No? We were in Germany, in English, because <laughs> we were in Dusseldorf in Germany. So say it in English. Everybody was saying, grow, grow. And after a while, one of the seeds grew to about one inch. I saw it. It's amazing. Then he also did something to me, a telepathy exercise, which was so fantastic. And I drew something and he actually drew exactly what I drew no? after 20 amazing. seconds. Pero Jimmy, seminars, <laughs> You can teach people to bend spoons also. I've been, I have been teaching. That's why I, that's why I believe in it because about 50% of my class are able to do it. No, they're able to. I think you were able to do it also, no? Yeah, I you? did. Pero not as baluktot as that. Yeah, me too. Not as that. Kaunti lang. I, I was able to do it also. No, pero not so, like pero this. Jimmy, yung mga seminars mo, when is the next? ESP seminar. I, I asked Danielle to flash it, but I, I don't know whether oh, she's. Uh, can we see the schedule? Yeah. Yeah, there, there is there, the schedule of upcoming seminars. Na. January 16, I have telepathy. Uh, this is a very interesting. Answer. It's only one and a half hours, so two hours, uh, on January 16, uh, from 2 p.m. to 3:30, and then we have uh, remote viewing. How to develop it through the mode viewing. This is a very, very, very important uh, psychic ability. Uh, this two hours, no, that's in uh, January 23. So these are the two things in January the exercise uh, and seminars and in January. Pwede po kayong mag-enroll. What number do they call, Jim? Walang contact number. Um, I, she will flash it. There. Ito, ito. Okay. The, Ayan, mga katribu, pwede po kayong tumawag sa 8-810-7245 or sa mobile number 0998-988-6292 and email jimmy at jaimetilikawko at yahoo.com Okay, complete. And for the upcoming <laughs> seminars of Jimmy Licapo. If this not, is online. Uh, yeah. Corey, this is an online seminar, huh? not, not personal. Yeah. Online, anybody. And I have I have participants all over the world all the time. These are Filipinos. I'm an, I'm an expat. It's not in. Ah, and you still have your months. book for sale. Well, I have only a few. Oh. Many of them are no longer available. I have only a few books available in our office. No, no limited like edition na mga libro nyo. I, I don't know what happened to my publisher. They have not uh, been, I think there's some ah, problems. Rin, Jim, I think we should move to a new publisher. There is uh, none. <laughs> yeah, baka in, no, ang Daily Tribune, mag, uh, meron silang publishing division. Ah, really? They, yes. they accept trade books? They accept, they, they print trade books? Find, That's called trade out. books. Let's find out. Yeah, find, find out. I have several manuscripts. Very good. So, Jim, um, Best advice sa ating mga katribo because I know we've got like how many minutes to go? Um, ilang minutes? Kaya five minutes to go yata. So Jim, mga tips sa ating mga katribo about how to develop their ESP and how to use it properly. Well, really, I, I hate to commercialize them, but the best way is to attend my seminars because this is where we see very systematic, eh? A, B, C, D, you know, step by step. You, you can learn this 
And so, so that's the best way. The second is reading books about it. If you really want to, there are books available, uh, both written abroad and here. I'm the only one who has written a book about ESP. Yeah, the only one. <laughs> and then, uh, so these are the things. And then meditation. Uh, th th this is, uh, how you call it? You cannot do without meditation if you want to develop your ESP. No. And uh, don't, we don't, don't believe that these skeptics who have not really studied, believe only those that have studied it scientifically. And there are many oh. who did. And I have met some of them in Princeton University. And uh, is, there is an anomalous phenomena department. They were experimenting on thiokinesis. No? J.B. Ryan, Duke University. Of course, he died already. But the parapsychology department is still existing at in Virginia, oh, no, Duke University. I'm not somebody else. Virginia, yeah, I'm not so sure where it, where it is now. But uh, there are several institutions no, uh, that are training people how to use uh, and develop their ESP. The uh, Institute of Nomadic Sciences in Sausalito, California, headed by Dean Ray Dean, uh, is doing an excellent job in training people and doing research scientifically. So there is science here, Corey. This is what I've been emphasizing. No. This is no joke. No, this is not. This is not foolishness it's, it's scientific and this is what i've been trying trying to tell people please study before you criticize if you say this nonsense please study it no? take the new record and you will find out with the last 100 years there's a lot of information there's a lot of research that have been going on for the last 100 years it's all there all they have to do is to be patient enough or be studious enough to 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 read and not just criticize no because it's all Correct. Sa totoo lang mga katribu, si Jimmy ang siyang nakatulong sa akin. Dahil noong nasa bahay at bahay ako ng kaibigan ko sa Buenos Aires, sa Argentina, yes. nagkaroon talaga ako ng ghostly experience, encounter talaga. Pero talagang nakakatakot yung encounter na yun kasi... I could not explain it. Talagang nag-freeze ako, natakot ako, lumalapit sa akin ng namig-lamig. Parang gustong pumasok sa loob ng katawan ko. I was so scared, Jimmy. So I started screaming. Tama ang sinasabi mo, naturally, instinctively, sumigaw ako. Nung sumigaw ako, parang lumayo ang, ang, ang multo. Remember I called you? And sabi well, mo sa akin, pagbalik mo sa Manila, kailangan mag-enroll ka na para turuan kita makontrol yung third eye mo. And that was the only way I could understand what happened to me. Si Jimmy talaga ang siyang nakatulong po sa akin. So I have to thank, thank you. you for that, Jimmy. You're welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> so, so, good. Mga katribo, we have to say thank you to Jimmy Likaw po. Maraming salamat kay Jimmy. At sana... Babalik ka ulit sa amin. And okay. A series to develop right. our ability. Anytime, just call me. Thanks, Jimmy. Yan po mga katribo ang ating episode ngayon on ESP and your third eye. See you again next week. Ito po si Cory Quirino para sa Kalingam Katribo. Thank you.